Hey guys, just a quick reminder for this video, we are being sponsored by 50cards.shop. If you haven't already heard of 50 cards, it's where we pick up our nation bundles and our playset splits and booster boxes, singles. They have everything you need basically for Vanguard, supplies, sleeves, everything you can think of, you can get at 50 cards. They also have Shadowverse singles, so if you're getting into Shadowverse, you can pick up your singles from there as well, booster boxes, and you can get everything you need with an additional 5% off at checkout when you use code Nexus. Get those nation bundles. The nation bundles are just the best way to update your Vanguard deck 100%. It's just that easy. You don't have to deal with the secondary market, hiking up prices of cards after a set releases. Just get everything you need early, pre-order your playset splits. It's just the best way to update your Vanguard decks. Now into the video. All right, you know what time it is. We're opening up more Vanguard booster boxes because it's fun. Today, we got two boxes of History Collection 2023. That's what we call it. It's the P and V Special Series. What's really fun about this box is everything in here is just a reprint, but we got a few erratas. So what's really fun about all the G units in this set is they all have basically brand new effects. They're erratas, meaning if you have the original copies, their effects change and you don't need to buy new ones. This is more for players who maybe haven't been around that long or weren't really there for the beginning of G era, but you know what, now we're here and now premium's gonna be fun again. However you feel about premium, I still think this is a pretty cool product. I do think it's kind of upsetting that a lot of the reprints just come in a common rarity when a lot of these like V, reprint special boxes, everything came foiled. Now we're getting commons again, but maybe the common rarity will drive down the prices of some of these cards, but who knows? Essentially, we're just gonna be cracking open two boxes and then these two here, we got two more boxes. They're gonna be given away. So two boxes are gonna be going to one winner. So we're gonna be open up two and one lucky person is gonna get two boxes of history collection as well. So if you're really excited about building a premium deck and you wanna kinda of get started, or you just want to continue your premium career and get some more fun stuff, this is a great opportunity for you. Same thing as always, we're gonna try and get the video up to 200 likes. If the video gets 200 likes, we'll have a link in the description below for one lucky winner to receive two boxes of history collection. And without further ado, we're gonna jump right in and open up those those two boxes over there. We're gonna open up those. All right, we got our two boxes of History Collection P and V Special Series. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, get both of these set up so that when we crack into both of these, we can kind of see what we're gonna end up getting. So we're gonna start with one box. Oh, cool. So right off the back, getting your first box, you already get your Guardian ticket. So a Guardian Ticket is a new special thing for the new Harmonix Messiah, where if you're going second and you have Harmonix Messiah in your G-Zone, you can flip it face up and you can acquire an additional gift ticket, essentially, which is your Guardian Shield, which is a Blitz Order that gives your unit 20k shield until the end of the battle. So it's just an extra hand fodder for discard or a really good shield target as well. I really like that those are box toppers now. That's really helpful. So we got a little ad, like always, this one does flip open. Groovy, Love Live, Bang Dream, and of course, Card Fight Vanguard, Will Dress. All right, so how many packs do we get? It gets like, kind of like the Festival Booster, we get 10 packs, it was a little shuffle, and I believe it's three cards per pack. So we're just gonna move my Guardian ticket off to the side, just get right into it. First pack, reprints. Okay, we got Pale Moon Starter. Gavrail reprint. So this is the Stride Scale Gavrail from GBTL4 and Common Rarity. And we got the Regalia Heal. So all the heal triggers that would Soul Charge or Counter Charge have now been errated. So now have 15 shield and 10k power. So if you want to use the old ones, you still can. So they've just been errated with the new amounts. This is just really helpful for a lot of players that maybe don't get anything out of running heal guardians, but you know they want that counter charge desperately. I know some decks really want to take advantage of that. They can. All right, Fritz reprint. Victor, God, it's so cool to see the artwork on these cards again. It's the exact same skill, nothing's changed. And we got Arborea. So these are the same G units, but you see with this wall of text here, the skills are completely different. All the G units pretty much do the same thing. They all have the 
when this attack hits effect activates even if they don't hit. And so therefore you get the, you know, for Arborea, get to clone it rear guard for free, basically at the end of its battle. And then the G zone skills, if your grade three is a specific name, grade three. So like for Vic 10, it would be Victor. You can discard grade three from hand during the main phase, stride this card from face down, and then you can acquire two imaginary gifts. So for Arborea, since it's Neo Nectar, you get two force markers. Because it's main phase, you can also do this while your opponent's at grade two. It's just a really, really good effect. So it's gonna be a really interesting meta now that we can start striding on our opponent while they're at grade two. All right, we got a Chat Noir reprint. So we do have some V-series cards that have imaginary gifts being reprinted uh, in the common rarity. And then we got Flying Lapwing and the Kusanagi, which is the crit for Susanoo. So it's got the retrain as well, same skill. So it still gives only 5K when it's moved to soul, uh, but it's not GB restricted as 15 shield and 10K power. So pretty much all of the main stride grade threes have the same effect. We got Lukier reprint, common rarity. Zab Zabania, Zabania for Gavril support. And we got the Musketeer heal trigger. So you Musketeer players, you got your uh, named heal trigger back with that buff, which is pretty cool. All right, keeping it going. MacLear, all the draw PGs got reprints as well in the common rarity. So now it just makes it even easier to get into premium since all these cards are just coming back in such high reprints. Sandy is back. So we do got some uh, G Guardians too, making it easier for players to pick these up in the common rarity. Honolly, that's a big one. So Honolly got errated as well. So Hanali's new skill, while well, it also has 10k shield, it is that all the rearguards cannot attack during the turn of the fifth battle or more. Uh, so they have to pay a counterblast unless they want to attack, which is kind of similar to the old Hanali, uh, but it's only for rearguards. The second skill is where it gets stupid. Act, remove this unit until the end of your opponent's next turn, you get when it is the fifth battle of this turn or more, your opponent's rearguard that would attack the Vanguard cannot attack unless a counterblast is paid. So now, before you had to have Honolly on the board, now you can just play it, remove it, and then you basically give your opponent a, a nerf where they have to pay a counterblast on the fifth attack or more. It's just a straight buff for Honolly. It's such a cool bonus to see. And then that continuous effect doesn't have to bother you anymore because it's no longer on the board. It only affects your opponent. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how players go around working with Honolly and working around Honolly. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to see how that goes for premium. Then keeping it going, Genesis grade two reprint. All the stride fodders are now reprinted. So it makes it easier to find that specific grade three you're looking for. They all come in the common rarity and heart thump worker with the rewording. So it's got the 15 shield and the 10K crit. Miles, remind me to keep a copy of this for you. Uh, Cause I know you're gonna be, wanna bring back Chrono Jet as we're playing premium again. It's gonna be a lot of fun. See what else we got. This is really funny because this is not the uh, this is the V series version of this card instead of the uh, the Amber clone. Um, but this is for OTT reprint, Freezer Next reprint for Gaia and Pichon, which also had an Errata. So Pichon is now uh, when this is placed uh, during your turn until the end of the turn, all of your opponent's rear in the same column as this unit uh, lose all their abilities and cannot gain them. Meaning that if you kind of want to just stun your opponent's you know, rear guards and turn them into vanillas, you can. You know, it doesn't affect vanguards, but at least your opponent's rear guards don't do anything. So unless your opponent removes those units in any way, shape or form, they're just vanillas. So I don't really see that many people working with this card, but it is it is a funny card to kind of invest in just in case it does come up in the future. All right, and let's see. Oh, Chrono Fang's in there. So the V-Series Chrono Fang Tiger, common rarity. Suleiman uh, for Alt Mile, reprint as a common as well. And we got Dione for Genesis, which is the on-hit Genesis unit for this one. It's uh, when this attack hits, so you can still get that Soul Charge 3, and then choose a card, put in your hand. So it has that effect, but most importantly, we're doing it for the fact that if you have Fenrir as your Vanguard, you can get two Force Markers, and you can stride while your opponent's at grade two. So we got two of those so far. We have two packs left in this box. Trying to get this one open. There we go. So we got a uh, Hyaki Vogue V-Series reprint. Thavas reprint, so it's the grade three with the original stride skill. And 
Dewey the ghosty. Loving that the ghosties are coming back, you know? Love that Beatrice support. Same thing, it does the binding and the counter charging and the soul charge or soul charging. So it's just nice to see these cards get 15 shield and 10K power. It's bringing them back. All right, last pack for box number one. We got V-Series Commander Laurel. We got Abyss Summoner, which is for Claret Sword Dragon for counter charge and soul charge. And we got the Cosmic Hero Grand Beat, which is for um, Gallop. Same thing, got that buff for that shield and that power. And uh, we're gonna be moving on to box number two here. Let's go ahead and get that started. Open it up, same thing. We got our guardian ticket, so I'll put that to the side. Our little promotion, and let's just go ahead and pop these open. All right, starting off pack number one, box number two. We've got our Jet Ink Fox reprint. Katrina, this is the grade one, not the broken G unit, <laughs> but it's still nice to have just because if your Vanguard is Ranunculus, all the effects still go off. And Somni, which is for Bermuda Triangles back. The other main thing I did forget to mention about these units is that you do have to flip up another copy of themselves. So be on the lookout, make sure you get two copies of your G unit if you want to make sure you can stride while your opponent's at grade two and get those other uh, extra gift markers. I do think it was a little bit annoying that you do have to flip the same unit face up. I thought we got pers uh, G Persona flip was gone ages ago, but you know, I'm not on the R&D team. <laughs> we got Himiko V, we got Nubatama G, uh, G Guardian, common rarity and another dewey the ghosty look at me man i guess i'm guess i'm building night rose for for premium right i just need to pull my uh grand blue g units here all right that looks like a machining unit it is so, do, do, do machining hornet protect orb <laughs> man also the other pgs from back in the day like uh what's arlim protect orb all those old uh, pgs from the g era where if they have a copy in your drop zone you can counter charge are now back, but in a common rarity. I just, it's just so weird to see Protect Orb as a common because people just were so sought after this specific PG because of Dragonic Overlord, the legend. It's just wild to me just to see it, you know, flat. And we got Revenger Alil, Alil, the heal for Shadow Paladin. So gotta remember to give this one to Miles too. I'm still not over this Protect, like, you guys don't know how hard I fought to fight, find my protect orbs back in the day when I played Overlord, it's crazy. All right, oh, that's another ghosty. We get Peter the Ghosty, got a starter right there. TikTok worker, man, this card brings back memories. I think you could still run this as a starter again. So TikTok is completely illegal in gears. And I got another heart thump worker, man, we got the whole gear, gear lineup right here. So two heart thumps and uh, two ghosties for my triggers so far. And let's see what else we got. Volt Shred Dragon, interesting choice. This is also from V-Series when your unit attacks, if it's Dragonic Vanquisher, so less one draw card. So that makes sense because Vanquisher, the G era one gets reprint here. Illuminal Dragon got reprinted as well. I'm assuming that's a, it's got a pretty decent restand skill. So when your other unit attack hits, this gets 15K. It's just a good beater. It's a good alternative Vanguard, but I still feel like this is more of just like a rear guard card at this point. Scarface Lion, hello. Man, it's just so weird to see this card upgraded. So this is the Gurgit crit. It's got that 15 shield, that 10K power. Man, it's just gonna be so nice to play Gurgit in premium. Just all these new upgrades. All right, we got four more packs after this. We got Enigmin Blanc for counter charge. Destiny Guardian reprint. This was really needed. This card was like $20, I feel like, a piece just at a double R rarity because of the fact that it was never reprinted, but now that it is it, and it's a common foiling, I feel like this card is gonna drop immensely, but definitely needed for Link Joker players. And another Musketeer heal. So we got Musketeers, Ghosties, and Gear Chronicle. So far are the favorite ones in my boxes so far. Kakaidist V series, Gaia Emperor, common rarity, and Campbell, <laughs> there we go. One down. So we can get two Excel markers if we're on Gurgit for the, the original Gurgit and we have no markers and we can strike while our opponent's at grade two and it's attack hit, you know, when attack hits is free. This is just so cool. You guys have no idea how excited I am to see all these cards come back. This is just giving me waves of nostalgia right now. Oh man, look, look at that. Old school Dimension Creeper. You can't even tell the difference. I feel like maybe Dimension Creeper was a rare, but it could have been a common too. I can't even really tell. So Dimension Creeper coming back is really helpful. 
Fenrir grade three for uh, getting those force markers on that G unit. And we got Dudley Cheers Lindsay. So this is really important because this is a Dudley unit, meaning you can search it out with jelly beans. So you can use Jelly Beans effect to just give you a heal trigger immediately in your hand whenever you need it for G guarding. So keep that in mind for you Spike Bros players, but you guys probably already knew that. Two backs left. This is the second to last. So we get got Lupina V series, reprint as a common. Got some Murakumo stuff. What's your name? Shira Hagino. This is the one that flips G units face or G guardians face up. And we got Petros, which is the Lambros. Or sorry, the uh, Thavas crit. Man, I'm just realizing Miles plays a lot of these uh, cards that I'm pulling. So, got Aqua Force, Shadow Paladin, Gear Chronicle. So, all right, Miles, remind me to give this to you as well. And we're on our last pack. The goal here is to pull Harmonix Messiah. All right, it's gonna happen. Bet. OTT reprint, Tommy the Ghosties, and another Grand Beat for Cosmic Heroes. So, Gallop apparently is in high pull rates from my boxes as well. Quickly, I'm just gonna kind of go over most of the pulls, but most of the stuff is just simple double R's anyways, but we'll just kind of sort them out in just a sec. All right, so another thing to point out is that the only cards that came foiled in this set are the errata G units, the Cray Elementals, and the triggers. Everything else basically came as a common. Well, I shouldn't say the triggers, just the errata triggers, because the draw PGs also came in commons. So going right into the triple R's, got our Arborea, Dione, Somni, and Campbell. So it's about two triple R's per box. So I got four in the two boxes that I got. And then for Cray Elementals, uh, I believe I pulled both of these in the first box. So it kind of really just depends on your double R ratios. But then going into the triggers, I pulled two Earth Thump Workers in my two boxes, two Grand Beats, and then I got one Scarf Face, one Kusanagi, one Petros, and then for heal triggers, I got two Dewey to Ghosties, two Nicholas for Musketeers, one Alley for Avengers, one Ear for Regalias, and one Dudley for Spike Brothers. Best of luck to all of you that are eagerly looking forward to building up your premium decks. And as a reminder, we still have two extra history collection boxes that will be given away to one lucky winner. So be sure to check the link in the description below. The goal is to get up to 200 likes. I have a feeling the Harmonix Messiah is somewhere in these boxes. Again, quick shout out to 50 Cards for sponsoring our videos. And uh, be sure to check them out for Vanguard singles, nation bundles, picking up booster boxes. So if you wanna pick up history collection boxes, I believe there still might be some history collection bundles as well. So if you just wanna get full play sets or whatever you need history collection related, you can get those as well. So let me know in the comment section below if you're excited for premium to get a whole new feel and whole new look. And uh, what are your thoughts on these new G units with the, uh, the new skills and the act abilities and how you think they're gonna affect the meta. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.